Do you bike, hike, run, or walk frequently? Or maybe you're a busy parent with a house full of very active kids. If so, you probably have one, two, or even three pairs of these in your closet. Hi, my name is Steven Greer, and I am the creator of the Rejuvenator. <laughs> How much makeup does he have on? <laughs> I don't even know who that is to start. I was expecting Steve to slide in from the side because that did not look like Steve. That's super cringy. Well, it reminds me of like a shark vacuum infomercial you see at like 3 a.m. I don't know if that really is Steven, Steven Greer. The newest and smartest shoe cleaning system. My name's Steven Greer. I'm the owner of Rejuvenator. Is that what you want? Yeah. Wanna do it again? Steve and I, we I mean we, we go we go way back. So I've I've known him. Um, I mean it's been well over 22, 22 years now. I had a 35th birthday at uh, one of the hotels and he came up and as soon as he walked in, he threw this mesh bag with the shoe trees in it. And I'm like, what is this? I was cleaning some shoes to put on eBay and I had been using a process um, for about 15 years, putting them in a pillowcase, and then putting them in the washing machine, pulling them out of the washing machine, and then putting cedar shoe trees in to maintain the form. But the problem with that is, after they go through the washing machine, the pillowcase, the knot got so tight, it would take 10 minutes to untie the knot. So one night I'm doing this, and I'm like, God, there has to be an easier way, and I thought if I would buy it, there have to be other people that would be interested in buying it too. My girlfriend at the time, I went and woke her up and I said, I got this idea, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm going back to sleep. So he like, he walked me through the process. I'm like, dude, this is genius. What Steve did differently than everyone else is introduce the laundry system. That's something that's unique to our brand specifically. It's a patented system that he created that you can't get anywhere else. Most of what I've heard about the origin story uh, has to do with the laundry bag coming from uh, cutting up uh, basketball shorts and turning them into the original laundry bag. When, when I started, we basically made the bags. We labeled the bags with a heat press from cutting the, the material to, sl to sleeving the thread through the bags. We started to see some traction. So. I'd lived in Tucson my whole life and realized that Tucson really wasn't the best spot to be growing a business. The next best step to move into LA is come to Phoenix. When, when we moved up here, it was me and another buddy, um, Rob. And Rob had a buddy named Fran that lived in Philly that did video work. And Akil that was living up here. I was putting in um, work during the day in the restaurant business. And then at night, I was either making product or fulfilling some orders. Before, it took me about six months before I came on to Rejuvenator full time. They always say, <clears throat> you always have to take a leap of faith. It took a few conversations with uh, that Steve and, and Rob had with myself because they were like, come on, you gotta do it, man. We need your help. He was scared as a little baby. It was essentially the best decision I've ever made. When I came on board, it was a pretty nice house, four bedroom, and we were essentially running the business in like the second living room, like the second family room. When you have a, f a living room that's just full of stuff, it can get a little old. When I met Steve, um, kind of our date nights were me going over there and helping him um, kind of like manually um, fill bottles. We used to get like an oil change cone and, and put it into the bottles and, and fill everything by hand. Back back in the house, there was the core values were just like get money. Um, it's kind of like a frat house almost. Let's go do another shot, drink another beer. Well, let's drink drinks and those that you know decided to partake and um, Magical Plants did. Steve was always kind of like the dad of the house. He was like the breakfast dinner guy, making everything, kind of keeping everything organized. I would basically just go to her house every night afterwards. We were overflowing. The garage was completely full. We had stuff all inside our house. You know, there was four people living there. I basically told the guys, hey, I'm looking for a uh, uh, an office space and I got I got pushback because it was free rent and they enjoyed living there and then two weeks later we had an office space.
in that first office space, we got a first distributor that contacted us. So we started getting, you know, bigger orders, $50,000, $60,000 orders. The, the buy-in from the sneakerhead community is essentially what kind of made that tipping point for us. Went to SneakerCon New York and there's 15,000 people and we sold out in like the first two hours and people were, you know, saying, oh yeah, I've seen you guys. That's probably the first time I really realized, okay, we're getting around. I think the, the popularity has only grown. The way they're really active in doing every sneaker show and being in every community, um, it, it, it's really got a good push and it's well known. People really like it. It's a staple, I would say. A lot of the customers that come in and buy the product, you know, they'll, they'll come in the first time and you know, we'll show them the product. 95% of our customers always come back for more of it. You know, our YouTube channel has a lot to do with that. Our Instagram has a lot to do with that. Vic Almighty, Mr. Vic Almighty. What's up, guys? My name's Vic. Vic. It's Vic. It's Vic. It's Vic. Welcome back to this episode of Restorations with Vic. Johnny Bubbles. Johnny here. Johnny Bubbles. Johnny Bubbles. Is Johnny Bubbles back with another How To Clean video. I come across Crazy Vic and all um, Johnny Bubble fans all the time. Um, he was actually a customer. He purchased the product and I saw that he was local, so I just sent him extra product and he shouted us out. I said, can't wait to see how great this product is. Support your local business, hashtag Arizona Sneakerhead. I'm gonna just turn it around, not sure if you can pick it up there. I already had my setup, right? I had like my DSLR camera and I was doing like my own thing, so. When I brought that up to them, they're like, oh, why don't you act as, you know, a uh, talent for your cleaning videos? So um, I gave it a shot, and here I am as Johnny Bubbles. Adding Vic was instrumental in the growth of the Rejuvenator um, YouTube channel. That was a idea of Franz. He said, hey, there's this guy in town that's an awesome restorer, and he works at a local sneaker shop. I think we should bring him on and have him do videos for us. He basically came on board and he's really what's helped grow our YouTube channel. What's going on YouTube? Vic Almighty here with a brand new episode of Restorations with Vic. What we're gonna be taking care of today are these 2013 Air Jordan 10 Pattern Plus. Pattern Plus. <laughs> I mean, people know Vic Almighty and Johnny Bubbles. Anytime I go and do a show, I mean, I've been in Japan and people are like, Vic, 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 you know, um, London, people like Johnny Bubbles. So our, our YouTube, I think, has been a huge part of that brand recognition. We really just like catered directly to those who cared about their sneakers. I think that the YouTube combined with just the quality of the product was a match made in heaven. Incredible to me that there's enough of a niche in the market that you can create an entire company with full selection of products off of the idea of how to put shoes inside of material that you can wash in a washing machine. Steve obviously started this company in 2010 with just a small range of products. And as Rejuvenator grew in influence and financially and like really established itself as a leader in this space, we took a look at that reactionary design and decided that it didn't really like fit a, a true family of products. Brand in general was geared strictly towards sneakerheads. It's a little sporty, um, it's male focused. So, uh, you know, it's, I would say, it's been a little unpolished. A few years back, one of, um, one of my partners in uh, South Korea sent me a photo. One of, one of his retail spaces had a photo of one of our competitors, and I'm not gonna throw any names out there. Um, and he essentially had a, a wide variety of Rejuvenator products. Rejuvenator product by product looked like it might have been designed at a different point in time by a different person. I saw it and I'm like, oh man, we need to do something about that. So that's when I thought, you know what? I think we should rebrand. It's time to, to mature the brand. 